Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney, and welcome to my Reason 11 Explained and Explored course. This course will give you an overview of how to get started working with MIDI, audio, synthesizers, and producing music in Reason. Topics will include audio and MIDI setup, working with loops, recording and editing MIDI, beat making, exploring the MIDI players for chord creation, arpeggios, and note delays, recording audio with a microphone, editing and mixing audio, and finalizing your song. With Reason 11, you can use it as a fully functional standalone DAW, or you can use it as a rack plugin within another DAW. This brings the functionality of Reason's instruments, effects, utilities, and loops into any DAW of your choice. The first thing I'll show you is how to set up your audio interface with Reason so that you can monitor audio through headphones or speakers, and also input signal from a microphone. Go up to Reason, Preferences, and then go to the Audio tab. The Audio Device menu allows you to select the audio interface that you're using. So if you're just using laptop speakers or plugging headphones directly into your laptop, you'll want to choose Built-in Output. If you're using an audio interface like me, you'll want to select your audio interface here. Mine is a Mackie Big Knob Studio, so I'll select this interface. You can adjust your sample rate here. Make sure you do this before you record any audio. I typically like to work at 48,000 or higher to avoid aliasing issues. The buffer size controls how the audio signals are processed. If you use a lower buffer size, audio signals will be processed very rapidly, but in small blocks of information. A higher buffer size will process audio more slowly, but in larger blocks of information. When you're mixing a song or working on a project or editing, but not recording, you want to use a higher buffer size. This allows for more instruments and effects because the processing power is higher. On the flip side though, if you're doing a lot of recording, especially with a microphone or a DI instrument like electric guitar or bass, you'll want to use a lower buffer size. This produces less latency or an audible delay or lag in the signal. This means the musician can better stay in time with the signal he or she is monitoring in headphones. And the amount of latency produced by the buffer size is shown here. So to sum this up, use a higher buffer when mixing, editing, producing, pretty much anything but recording, and then use a lower buffer anytime you're recording, especially when recording audio. So now that my audio interface is all set up, I should be able to just drop in a loop from the browser and hear sound. In the next video, I'll give you an overview of the user interface of Reason, and I'll show you some helpful shortcuts to speed up your workflow.